Hey everyone, this is the Erroneous One with another Kingdom Hearts Unchained X video. Today we'll be taking on the Adamantite Ore Challenges for the Starlight. Uh, I'm only going to do parts 3 and 4 um, for this setup and probably for the remainder as well. Um, just because for the most part everybody can get past parts 1 and 2 I think fairly easily. Um, if you guys need me to do uh, part 1 or 2 for you guys, just to show you guys what they were like or anything, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll be happy to make a video for you real quick about it. So let's jump right into this one, um, Starlight. Uh, who uses it? I don't ever use it unless the uh, quest requires it. And even then, so far in the story mode, the quest required it to get things like the mithril pieces or the avatar coins. I haven't really um, had any problems with them for the most part. It's when you get into things like the adamantite ore challenge that you want to start using it. Because everybody wants those adamantite ores to power up a keyblade. So, um... In order to get past uh, the three and even the four later on, which I'll get into, hopefully I can complete that one with you guys in the next video. But in order to get past this one, I actually had to level up my uh, treasure trove, or sorry, my starlight keyblade, and that was painful because I did not want to waste the materials on that one. Um, but it left me no recourse but to do so. So my starlight is a uh, level 21. I did use um, one adamantite ore on it on accident. That was a mistake on my part that I did not mean to do, but I guess I now had the bit of extra damage on that one, so I can't complain too much. Um, this is my setup that I'll be using for this one. Uh, the only difference from now from when I did it last time was that I put the new poo, uh, uh, sorry, the new piglet on there. Um, I haven't uh, bothered to put him up at six star yet. Uh, I won't be doing that until I have enough SIDS, which should be tomorrow, to go through and do the new high score challenge again, and I'll use this piglet on the new high score challenge to get my strength up. But he is a pretty decent metal. Raises his strength by two tiers for one turn overall. Uh, the only downside to him, really, is that he has a three gauge cost. So, kind of pricey in regards to that one, but in the end, more than adequate, at least until I'm able to pick up the uh, Pooh and Piglet combined metal, because that gate has a cost of two, and it also moderately restores your health. So... When I draw him, I'll be a happier player for sure. But Piglet is not a bad metal at all. I do quite like him and the new Poo as well. He's the power version of this guy. Uh, I'll be running the uh, new Rax metal on there as well. I'll be running, of course, my old standby, Black Coat King Mickey. I'll be running uh, Riku. And I'll be running my Hag in this setup as well. So let's go ahead and get into this for you guys real quick. I am going to borrow my teammate DX Bailey's Black Coat Mickey as well, just for that last bit of um, attack damage at the end, uh, which I'm only really going to need uh, against the last group of enemies. Alright, so here we go. So Archer. So this is going to be a setup. Um, we are going to have each grouping is going to have uh, this little guy right here on the bottom there. Um, I forget what he's called, Bomb something I think it is, or Black Bomb something. Uh, he is just like the Lucky Eggs and the Money Eggs, um, in that he needs several uh, hits to knock him out. I think he needs, I think he needs like 12 or something on this one, so he need, you need quite a few hits on him. So it's definitely a good, uh, good idea to have a, a multi-hitting uh, AoE metal for the setup, just for him. Um, in this case, I'm going to use uh, Piglet, and I'm going to hit the Archer first, since uh, that's its weak attribute there against it. Uh, I'm now going to use the Rax Metal, and the Rax Metal uh, will deal with most of the cost in this one. So that was 7 hits on the Black Bomb, this will be 8 with the Mickey, and Mickey should knock out everybody but him, I think. Yeah, everybody's going for him, and he... Okay, so 9 hits, you need 9 hits to knock out that Black Bomb. So there's that. Uh, we're at 11 gauge, we're going to jump down, grab this SP chest, back at 14, take on this guy. Again, same setup as last time, so we'll use Piglet on the Archer. Hit off that one. And Black Coat. There we go. And again, one hit here and knocks him out. So that's that one. And here we go for this. The last chest there, put it at 13 gauge. So this is the last target enemy here. Uh, it is the cannon gun. Um, the one of the options on this one is defeat all enemies in one turn. That's the one that gives you the uh, adamantite ore, so that's the one we're really going to focus on. Here we go. So, as always, it seems, these uh, cannon guns have the times two defense against all attributes. So, we are going to use um, Piglet on him first. 
anything to knock his health down just a little bit more, dealing more damage. Let Rox go out, have Minky go off. So there we go. So everybody still has a good chunk of health, including the hammer up on top. So that kind of leaves me in a quandary, uh, sort of kind of in terms of what to do in this case. So what I'm going to do is I am going to swipe with uh, Riku here. I'm going to have the hag go off on the cannon gun. And then Mickey here should knock out everybody else. Oh, and the hammer gun lived past that because he did not proc. If that Mickey had procced, uh, this guy would have been toast, and that would have been it. Oh, he has a times three defense as well, so let's go ahead and knock him out fast. There we go. So, that's going to be the, uh, the mission here on this one. Uh, again, you can beat it. Uh, it's just you need some good setups here with Starlight, uh, mainly because, again, not many people have the Starlight um, leveled up very much, unfortunately. Um, well, not really unfortunately, it's just... No one really uses that particular Keyblade, you know, you're going to use the three main ones or the uh, Olympus Keyblade more often than not for that set. Um, I just used the uh, Starlight Keyblade on this one just so I can get the Avatar coins when I first passed it. Um, when I first passed it using just the Vivi there instead of the uh, Piglet, I needed everything to proc. And luckily for me, everything proc last time I did that and got it passed out. So... That's a general idea of what it's going to be like. Uh, if you guys need anything to proc out there, uh, make sure you guys have some good AoE medals set up there. They're going to need to be guilted. Um, if you guys have a higher level um, Starlight Keyblade, you're going to have a much easier time in this mission, obviously. Uh, so be prepared for that one. But uh, that cannon gun at the end is going to be the problem uh, right there at the end. You guys can change things up a little bit. I mean, for instance, I probably could have um, had Riku go off to knock out that hammer up top. But, then again, the damage might not have been enough uh, with the Hag in order to uh, finish off the rest of them. And I had to have enough uh, gauge left over for uh, Black Cook and Mickey to go off that I borrowed from my teammate. I could have gotten around that, I suppose, by having another metal on there that had the attack price plus on it. If it had that on it, you could have gotten more gauge out of that one and been better off, for instance. So, that's the thing about it as well. If you guys need to have a setup like mine similar to that one, but you have the attack price plus ability on there instead, that might end up being better for you, just to replenish your gauge um, in the middle of combat. Something to think about. Uh, either way, if you guys uh, want me to do it again uh, with a different setup for you guys, I can be more than happy to. Leave me a comment what you guys thought about it, and thanks for watching.